Hi, it's Evan Green Living here, and I'm sorry it took me so long to make these videos. As far as what I'm using for my kindergartner, my second grader, my fifth grader, my journey to Wardock, why I took this journey, as well as um, a couple more things concerning Wardock. I do have one more um, video where I'm showing you how you can like find affordable things, right? Because not everyone has millions of dollars, um, <laughs> and then not everyone gets. Um, funding from charter schools so I just want to make it affordable um, and show you how I'm making it affordable as a mommy of five I'm not making a lot of money how I'm doing it without being a millionaire and <laughs> how I'm doing it without public funding so here is the first one and this is um, Oak Meadow grade 5 and I have done one week of it just to kind of see um, before I came back to show you what I'm doing to kind of give you just a quick you know beginning review but this is what comes in a package grade 5 English US history um, math science the teachers manual Ben and me the children of the Wild West if you sell them the Mayflower in 1620 John Sherman little house on the prairie Sari Morton stay the story of Harriet Tegman freedom train where do you think you're going Christopher Columbus and the witch of blackbird pond okay so with that being said and done for the um, social studies, the children learn about early American history, the early explorers, Christopher Columbus, pilgrims, and colonial life, and the Salem Witch Trial, um, American Revolution, and the Constitution. So that's just to kind of talk about like where that, those books came from, particularly the the Witch of Blackberry um, Ponds. Okay, without going more into there, I just want to just kind of show you. <laughs> Um, what I have and just kind of make it through as much of it as I can because again I do have five little ones and they're right outside the door literally playing I'm sure you can see them <laughs> um, playing in their sandbox but this is a teacher's manual I will say because I do have the K and because I do have the um, second grade that the beginning is not as thorough as the other ones and maybe they're thinking that by fifth grade you're not just coming into this you've already been in here but it has your introduction, it has 36 lessons of English, social studies, and science. And so um, I thought that was that was good. And I what I really love about this new version is that they do have an assignment summary on here. So they let you know what you know needs to be done. Begin reading what do you think you're going, Christopher Columbus. And we started that. Now I assigned it to my son to read on his own. He was bored and falling asleep. So I read it to him and what I noticed was that all of my children wanted to come and sit and listen and participate and it really brought it alive. So as much as possible these um, assigned readings I am just going to read them aloud to everyone because I think everyone can benefit from, from knowing and it's a moment that I don't have to worry about like okay what are you doing you know. Um, so I, I think that this is a really nice um, lesson. I like the social studies. I like how they combine the social studies and the English um, together. Here is the science. Um, I like the science as well. I think what they're doing for the year. Basic environmental science, scientific inquiry, ecosystems, population, um, ecology, protecting animals, biomes, bodies of waters, and pollution and recycling is amazing. Um, so that's that. Okay. So for math, we are um, reviewing carrying, borrowing, place values, and long division, measuring time, adding and subtracting time, word problems, borrowing across zero, and borrowing from a borrowed digit, bar graphs and line graphs. Just trying to show you some of the as I taught Roman numerals multiplying large numbers and square and square root creating fractions with remainders as well so this is just kind of a quick flip through of that test no test here that's in 14 that's in 20 skills check and um, they give you lots of learning checklist 
to see if your child needs help with this, if they can do it, um, if they're confident, a place to write notes and stuff as well. Okay, so that's math. So I've talked about Neil the manual, I've talked about math, I've talked about what books come with it. Let me show you the science book now. And this new, um, the new books come this way. They're really pretty and they kind of combine two things. First is the old one, um, which is just spiral. They both have its pros and cons, but anyway, this is Science Spy. And I think I already told you, but this one is Basic Environmental Science, Scientific Inquiry, Ecosystems, Population Ecology, Protecting Animals, Biomes, Bodies of Water, Pollution, and Recycling. And I'm just, you know, showing you a little bit more, just in case you want a, a more in-depth look, right? You know, these curriculums are expensive, and so you kind of want to know what you're spending your money on. Um, and maybe not just one sample that they show you online. So Lesson 27, Physical Science. Lesson 28, Energy. Lesson 33, Air Pressure. Lesson 36, Scientific Review and Final Exam. Okay, so that is science. And lastly, I'm gonna just show you the English in the United States okay, history. So with everything else, they kind of give you, you know, the introduction. Uh, lesson one is your vocabulary word, subjects and predicate. Where do you think you're going, Christopher Columbus? And social studies is early explorers and early navigation. And then you go into um, lesson two, which is Dependent and independent clauses, social studies, travels of Christopher Columbus. So you can see like for every lesson there's an English and there is a social studies. So Paul Revere, Revolutionary War, George Washington, reciting a speech. So I love how it's kind of combining them together. Um, lesson 30 is writing business letters, revising, editing, and proofreading. Again, I know you can't see all of it. But again, I just want to show you kind of a peek inside. Um, I think that this is a really nice curriculum. I think it's well um, laid out. I think it's well illustrated. I love the pictures um, that are involved in it, you know, that that's included. Um, just a little quick flip through. You may or may not be able to see much, but again, um, do you see the feather? Um, the further section, you see the learning assessment section, further study assessment. Then you know you have your assignment summaries, your student planners, and this is for um, each week that you get to do that. So I just think that it's really nice. It's really well laid out, and it it makes it easy for you to kind of know what's happening and what you're doing. Um, I would recommend this. And I would say if you cannot afford brand new, there are lots of swaps um, and Facebook groups that you can buy it used. And I'm actually going to show you what I'm using for my kindergartner and what I'm using for my second grader. And it's the older versions. And recently a lady had the older version on sale for $50. So you just never know what you can get on those swaps. But you know my motto is you can do a lot with a little. So if you can pay the money and get the brand new version, it does make it easier having all the checklists and all the guides and stuff there for you. But if you can't, no worry. You can make your own guide and your own uh, list. And there's a lot of people actually out there who buy the, the older version so that they don't have to worry um, with the cost and they say, even with the newer ones, they still make their own check checklists and stuff. So this one's Children of the Wild West. And this is where do you think you're going, Christopher Columbus. So this is what we are using for fifth grade. I am not supplementing much. Um, Bible is included in our morning circle. Um, Bible is something that's very important to me because we are a Christian family. Um, so I do add Bible, um, the scriptures, that's all in the in our morning circle, and I may do a in our um, our morning circle and our PM night circle. So 
so I may do a video on that later. Um, but here's just the inside of here. Um, be sure to check back for sneak peeks of our week. And until next time, blessings. But if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure that you um, go ahead and like and or comment so that I know. I have been making a lot of videos and I see that some of them only get 15 or so views. So that makes me think, or I don't get comments, makes me think that people aren't really interested in the videos that I get a lot of views or get a lot of comments or likes. It lets me know that people are more interested in that. And so I'd rather spend my time making a video that people are interested in, they're going to watch and like. Um, versus one that there won't. So just let me know if you want to see more videos like this or not. Um, and blessings.